हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फंक्शन इज कंटिन्यूस एवरीवेयर इन इट्स डोमेन बट हैज एट लीस्ट वन पॉइंट वेर इट इज नॉट डिफ्रेंशियबल ऑप्शन ए एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू क्यूब रूट ऑफ एक्स ऑप्शन बी एफ एक्स इक्वल टू मॉड एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स ऑप्शन सी एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू ई रेज टू माइनस एक्स और ऑप्शन डी एफ एक्स इक्वल टेन एक्स सोल्यूशन स्टार्ट करने से पहले लेट्स नोट डाउन द की कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम तो द की कॉन्सेप्ट इज द डेफिनेशन फॉर डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी एट अ गिवन पॉइंट फॉर अ फंक्शन एफ सो एफ एफ इज अ फंक्शन देन इट इज सेड to be differentiable at a point x equals a only if limit x tends to a f of x minus f of a whole divided by x minus a exists and the value of the limit is the derivative of f at x equals a that is f dash at a now Let's look at the domain of the given functions. So the first uh, function we have here is f x is equals to cube root of x, and the domain for this function is set of all real numbers. The second function given is f x is equals to mod x divided by x. Here the domain of the function is all the real numbers except singleton zero set. the third function we have is fx is defined as e raised to minus x the domain of this function is set of real numbers and lastly we have function fx is equals to tan of x here the domain of the function is set of all real numbers minus the set of real numbers of the form 2n plus 1 times pi divided by 2 where n belongs to the set of integers so this is our domain for tan x now let's look at the graph of each function one by one so starting with the first function cube root of x so fx is equals to cube root of x so the graph looks like so here we have x axis here we have y axis and the graph looks like so such is the graph for fx equals cube root of x now let's look at the graph for fx defined as mod x divided by x now understand the function mod x divided by x so for the values of x so so this will be actually equal to so for the values of x less than 0 So the function will be minus one, and for the values of x greater than zero, so the function's value will be one. So the graph will look like, and since zero is not in our domain, so we are not bothered to find the value of function at zero. So the graph of the function f x equals mod x by x looks like. So for values of x less than zero. the functional value is minus 1 so as we go from minus infinity to zero my functional value is minus 1 so it will look like and at zero we will, we will have a hole here and again for the values of x greater than zero the value of the function is 1 at zero we have hole since zero is not in our domain and the function goes constant 1 
so such is the graph for function fx equals mod x divided by x now let's look at the graph of the function fx is equals to e raised to minus x so the graph looks like so such is the graph of the function e raised to minus x now let's look at the graph of the function fx is equals to tan of x so such is the graph of the function fx equals tan x as you can see since uh, the set of elements of the form 2n plus 1 pi by 2 for example pi by 2 minus pi by 2 the function here is not defined so these points are not in our domain now let's analyze the functions and get the answer to the given question now from the graph of the function fx equals to cube root of x you can see that the function is continuous over its entire domain that is a set of real numbers for the second function fx equal to mod x by x you can see that the function is continuous over its domain points as 0 is not inside the domain further for the function e raised to minus x you can see that the function is continuous over the entire real numbers that is its domain and for the function fx equals to tan x again the function is continuous in the at all the real numbers except the sets set of elements of the form 2n plus 1 times pi by 2 where n belongs to the integers that is the function fx equals tan x is continuous over its domain now let's analyze the differentiability of each function so first function we have is fx is equals to x raised to 1 by 3 the derivative of this function is equal to 1 divided by 3 times x raised to minus 2 by 3 for every x belongs to r except at 0 let's check the differentiability of the function at x equals 0 so for that we will use the definitions we have limit x tends to 0 fx minus f of 0 divided by x minus 0 which is equal to limit x tends to 0 so we have x raised to 1 by 3 minus 0 divided by x so this is a limit x tends to 0 1 divided by x raised to 2 by 3 so this limit is not defined so therefore the function therefore the function fx is not differentiable at x equals to 0 therefore fx is not differentiable at x equals 0 if you look at the second function we have fx is equal to mod x divided by x now the value of the function is minus 1 for x less than 0 and 1 for x greater than 0 if you look at the graph of the function fx equals to mod x by x you can see that the function takes constant value for the domain for the interval minus infinity to 0 and then open interval 0 to infinity again the function takes a constant value which is 1 now as you can see that constant functions are differentiable right so therefore the function fx is differentiable therefore the derivative of the function fx is equal to 0 for every x belong to the domain d where d is equal to set of all real numbers except 0 now let's talk about the differentiability of the function fx equals to e raised to minus x see exponential functions are n times differentiable and from the graph it is clear that the function is actually smooth and continuous and therefore differentiable and the derivative for the function fx equals to e raised to x is f dash x is equals to minus of e raised to minus x for every x belongs to the set of real numbers and lastly we have the fourth function which is fx is equal to tan of x and the derivative we have is second squared x which is defined for every x belongs to the set of real numbers except the set of elements of the form 2n plus 1 times pi by 2 where 
and belongs to the set of integers so you see which is this set is none other than the domain of the function so therefore the function fx equal to tan x is differentiable over its entire domain now therefore let's look at the options so so among the options so we have uh, the question is uh, the question asked is which one of the following functions is continuous everywhere but has at least one point where it is not differentiable as you can see the function f x equals cube root of x is continuous over the entire domain but is dis but is not differentiable at point x equals to 0 and so therefore option a is correct option what about option b option b is mod x divided by x which is continuous over the entire domain and also differentiable over the entire domain and the differentiated value is 0 and so therefore this is the incorrect option about option c again it is continuous over entire domain and differentiable over entire domain so this is not the correct option option d is fx equal to tan x again this is continuous over its domain also differentiable over its domain so this is also incorrect so the correct option is option a i hope you understood it well best of luck and thank you